Hi there, you found us here. It's story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you think it would be fun for a bear to try being some other kind of animal? Some yeses and some noes, Bear. <laughs> well, what if he tried being something with wings? Hmm. Well, this brown bear is really tired of all the things bears do. He wants to try being someone else. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what animal bear wants to be and what will happen. Bear and Duck by Katie Hudson. Bear was a bear, and in most ways, he was just like any other bear. He was big and furry, he slept all winter, and he ate lots and lots of honey. But in one big way, Bear was not like other bears. Bear's problem was that he wished he weren't a bear at all. He was tired of sleeping all winter. His fur felt hot in the summer. And he was sick of all the angry bees. Leave me alone, he growled, rubbing his sore stung nose. That's it, Bear decided. I am done being a bear. Just then, Bear heard a noise. A happy, I don't sleep all winter or have hot fur or bees stinging my nose kind of noise. Quack! The sound was music to his ears. So Bear slipped into the line of happy yellow ducks. Quack, he chimed in. He watched the ducks every move. Yes, he could get used to being a duck. In fact, he decided, he was a good duck. Luckily, no one noticed the new duck until Bear let out a too loud and happy quack. Stop right there, Bear. What are you doing in our line? Snapped Duck. You don't belong here. But please, said Bear, I don't want to be a bear anymore. Can you please teach me how to be a duck? Please? Well, all right, said Duck. I guess I can help. How to be a duck. Rule one. Nest building. Step one. Collect twigs and old leaves. Step two. Build nest. Step three. Place egg in nest. Sit on egg. Keep egg safe and warm. Step four. Under no circumstances should you lose your egg. How to be a duck, rule two, swimming. Step one, waddle into water. Step two, flap feet one at a time to swim. Step three, no splashing permitted. <laughs> How 
how to be a duck. Rule three: flying. Step one: find perfect hill for takeoff. Step two: run while flapping wings and keeping beak pointed upward. Step three: once in the air, crash. Oh dear. This was definitely not going as planned. Bear wasn't good at being a duck after all. Duck felt sorry for Bear. Don't be sad, Bear. Look, you climbed a tree. Ducks can't do that. Bear felt a little better. He decided to climb up and get that apple for Duck. The apple was very high, and the branch was very bendy. Bear reached as far as he could, when, boing! I'm flying! Bear called out happily, just like a duck. But inside. Bear wasn't actually happy at all. Flying twisted his tummy, and the landing was far too tricky. Crash! I think I prefer climbing, he told Duck. Being a bear doesn't seem all that bad, said Duck. And you make a really good bear. And a really good friend. Bear's wondering. Would you want to be a polar bear? Hmm. Some say no. They'd be too cold, Bear. <laughs> well. Bear says he's going to try being either a brown or black bear, and raid beehives. Hmm. Well, are you hoping Bear will just stay a good reader and a really good friend? Bear's also hoping you come back soon for more adventures in learning how to be happy. Bye for now. Please subscribe.